with the Dean of the College of Ag and Life Sciences at NC State University, Dr. Rich Linton. Dean Linton has served in his current role since 2012. You all know how closely we work with the Dean and his administrative team. They have completed outstanding work on projects that are important to us at Farm Bureau, including the Plant Science Initiative. I believe the tweet said 70% the other day. I saw complete, or 83%, all right. All right, he knows exactly where it is, but it's coming along great. The Food Processing and Manufacturing Initiative uh, in Kannapolis, and, and, uh, and most importantly, I think, to this crowd, uh, Dean Linton, is improving access for rural students into the College of Ag at NC State. And so we're glad to have the Dean join us this morning. Thank you, Dean Linton. Come on up. Well, good morning, everybody. And I think I should have just one slide if you can throw it on the screen. And what I'll say first is I'm glad that my remarks this morning are not starting with, I hope that this Zoom call finds you well. So let's give ourselves all a big hand for being back together again. So many of you don't know, but I have a 17-year-old daughter. She is um, amazingly uh, visiting colleges today. She's at Indiana University this morning and Purdue University this afternoon. Boo, right, for Purdue. But um, one of the things, one of my great joys with my daughter was to be able to take her to school every day before she got a license. And uh, every week we would play different music. One week was for me and one week was for her. And so when it was me, she got to learn about the Grateful Dead and Genesis and James Taylor and my favorite, Jimmy Buffett. And when it was her, it was like Justin Bieber and the Jonas Brothers and Luke Bryan. And so um, she, for Father's Day, she bought me a gift to be able to go to the Luke Bryan concert, which was this past Saturday night. You know, 20,000 people. It was, it was awesome. Um, didn't know much of his music until a day before, <laughs> but listened to a lot of it and had a great time. So I talked with her this morning, and she says, well, you know, I asked her what's, what's she excited about, what's she going to do when she's at these two di different universities. And she said, well, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm going to be at the Foreign Bureau review, review meeting. And I said, that's kind of like the Luke Bryan concert for you and how good it makes me feel uh, to be back with all of you face to face and in person. I have greatly missed the interaction and just glad to be back and glad to be on the other side of this pandemic. Um, I put together just a, a couple of talking points, points of pride relative to the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Um, you know, we've all been through something that's changed us forever, but I'm really super proud of both NC State University and North Carolina A&T State University for the way in which they handled this pandemic. We're still the land grant in North Carolina, and I think over the last uh, year and a half, we've taught in different ways. We've developed new technology to be able to utilize an extension to get messages out to our farmers. Uh, and we've also continued to do research in very, very difficult times, and I am amazingly proud of my leadership team. I know that my three associate deans are here. If I can get Steve Lommel, John Dole, and Don Bonanno to stand up, where are you? They're, they're in the back, I don't know why, but let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> they provided just incredible leadership and we're not done. We've gotta figure out what the transition of this pandemic's gonna look like and how do we learn from this experience so that we continually can be better and be the best land-grant university possible. The second thing I'd like to do is I'd like to thank Farm Bureau for your incredible support and advocacy for agriculture from the farmer to the processor. Um, I mentioned many times it's one of the reasons, it's really the primary reason that I came to NC State to be dean. It's because of the incredible partnership that exists with Farm Bureau for NC State, for NC a and State University, and all the stakeholders and all the commodity groups. That's why agriculture is growing and that's why great things are happening in the state of North Carolina. Relative to our college, um, we had an aspirational goal nine years ago, which was to be a top five land grant university in the country. Uh, we're making strides towards that goal. You can see here, there's some, some metrics on the screen. Relative to research, we had an initial goal to be at $75 million in sponsored research. We quickly exceeded that goal and changed the goal to $100 million in research by 2020. You can see um, last couple of years we were at $96 million 
and 98 million. And that's important because the research that we do provides solutions for your stakeholders. And the return on the investment to the economy is great. Uh, relative to students, uh, that's the other big piece. I think when I walk away from this job, the proudest statement I'll be able to say is that we made a difference in being able to get students back into NC State. We created alternative pathways, whether it be through the community college system or whether it be through the Ag Institute program or all the inventive programs that we've created. Uh, we're now one of the um, top programs in the country at almost 1,000 graduate students to be able to support our graduate work and research. And from, a, from an undergraduate perspective, we continue to grow about 2 to 3% every year in our undergraduate students. Where we're challenged and what we're worried about is the Ag Institute program. Uh, that's a down about 30% pre versus post pandemic. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the hands-on learning that's so critically important as a part of that important program. Uh, and also access to the internet. We've got stories of students that would have to drive to the nearby Hardee's and sit there for six hours to be able to take classes. So with the good fortune of a, a grant with the Golden Leaf Foundation, uh, we look at uh, building out, it's a million dollar grant that we received this last year, recruitment programs to be able to better equip and build up that program to the level which, which we're accustomed to. Um, extension in this state is like no other place in the country. We're the second uh, largest, but I think we're the strongest and we're the most impactful with our informational programs and educational programs that go out to farmers and other agricultural stakeholders. And the connection that we have here is just incredible. I've been asked uh, this weekend at Clemson to be able to talk about the partnership model in North Carolina, which we're so proud of. And I know that almost everyone else in the audience from these other land-grant institutions, they're gonna shake their head and try to figure out how do we do it here? I'm just so proud of what we've got here and so glad to be here as the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Um, we've got some exciting things too with um, facilities. Uh, we just uh, last week with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture celebrated the opening of a new produce handling facility which will focus on food safety practices for our farmers out at the Mills River Research Station that's jointly shared between NCDA and NC State University. Sean also mentioned um, we've got a building, and this building is 83.1% done, and it will be 100% done on the 4th of February. On the 12th of April, write this down in your notebook, your calendar, your cell phone, however you do it, um, we're going to have a party. We're going to have a celebration. Luke Bryan's not going to be there, but trust me, you're going to have an equal amount of fun at this celebration and this party for what I think will be a landmark event and agriculture. And it's not that the plant science building is this incredible building that's going to be able to support research, extension, and education, and recruit the best people in the world, and, and create opportunities for industry to be able to want to work with us more. It's the change that this initiative has made, I think, in all of us. We had a goal nine years ago about an aspiration to be best in the world at something. Together, all of us, all the stakeholders, Farm Bureau, the Grange, NCANT, all of us have been working together towards that goal. And I think that's the change in the feeling that I wish to celebrate on the 12th of April. You guys have a great day together today. And I hope today is as good as the Luke Bryan concert was for me on Saturday night. Take care. <laughs>